This is the Sunday School lesson for August the 13th in the year 2023. It's called Fiery Serpents. It comes from Numbers 21, verses 4 to 9. And at that time, the people of Israel, the children of Israel, God's people were traveling along the Red Sea, and they started to complain that's just so amazing that they would complain, right? They've been complaining the whole time they were out there. They started to complain, and they were complaining against Moses. And when you're complaining against your leader, you're really complaining against God, right? So they were complaining against God, and they said, We wish we would have died in Egypt. Why did you bring us out here to die in the wilderness? This desert is horrible. The food is horrible. The wa There's not enough water to drink, and we hate, detest, hate this manna you keep feeding us. We don't like it. And God allowed poisonous snakes to come and bite the people who were complaining and grumbling. Hmm. What would happen if when people complain and grumble now, God would send poisonous snakes to bite us? So the poisonous snakes came to bite them and the people said, Oh Moses, oh Moses, there are poisonous snakes. Ask God to take the poisonous snakes away. So many people are dying from the venomous snakes. Moses went to talk to God. And God said, take a tall pole, real long pole. I used to say a clothes prop, but most kids don't even know what a clothes prop is anymore. A long pole. And on the top of that pole, make a snake out of bronze, a metal snake and wrap him around the top of that pole. So I think the pole went up like this, and then it had a cross beam, and then the snake rolled around it like this. And he said, and then tell the people that if they get bit, they can just look up at that snake up at the top, and they'll be healed. So that's what they did. Moses took some metal, some bronze, and he made a snake, and he put it up on top of that pole. Whenever anybody looked up there, they would get healed of their snake bites, and they wouldn't die. Now, it's my favorite story in the Old Testament because it just points to the New Testament. It points to what Jesus said when he was in John chapter 3. He said, just like, just as Moses lifted up the snake in the desert, so will the Son of Man, that's Jesus, be lifted up, that whoever believes, that everyone who believes will have eternal life. Let me make sure I have it right. Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. You might think, you know, that sounds a lot like another, another verse that I know. It does. It comes right before John 3, 16. So we're going to say 14, 15, and 16. Okay, John 3, 14, 15, and 16. Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world, that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. John 3, 14, 15, and 16. We'll do it one more time. Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, 
that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. Dear Father God, we thank you so much that you gave us the story in the Old Testament of the snakes biting and killing the people. So you could raise up on the pole the snake that saved the people's lives so that people in the New Testament would know that their lives are destroyed because of their sin, because of our complaining and our grumbling and our refusal to obey you. And yet, if we look to Jesus, you will give us everlasting life too. In Jesus' name, amen.